Give us away if you don't be quiet. I can't help it, Ronnie. It's dark here in Grandpa's study, and you know I'm afraid of the dark. What's wrong? Are you a chicken? Chicken? Who? Me? Shh, come on. How are we ever going to be famous detectives like Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson if you're such a coward? It's our job to check Grandpa's study for clues. Now, where's the magnifying glass you were supposed to bring? A good detective needs a magnifying glass to look for fingerprints. Here it is. That's a lollipop. Well, it's the only thing I could find. Look, you can see through it if you look real hard. Oh, Georgie, never mind. Well, what's that thing around your head? This is what doctors wear. I bet Dr. Watson always wore his when he was working on a case. Aha! That must be what's wrong with you. You've got that thing on so tight it's squeezing your brain. Come on, Georgie, let's get busy investigating. It's so dark in here, I can't see a thing. Oh! Ouch! What's wrong? I ran into something with my foot. Oh! Oh! Well, look where you're going. I can't. It's too dark. Ah! What was that? Let go! I can't breathe! It's coming closer! Ah! Ronnie! Georgie! I didn't mean to scare you boys, but what are you doing here in the dark? Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> when we were looking for clues like Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Well, here's a clue for you. You can hurt yourselves walking around in a dark room. Tell me about it. You know, boys, it's just like chapter 8 of John, where Jesus was talking about being the light of the world. He said, he who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I guess Jesus was right. It is better to walk in the light instead of the dark. Right, Georgie? Right. <laughs> well, Georgie, you can count on Jesus to light your way no matter how dark it seems. Come on, boys. Let's go to the kitchen and have a look at that foot. Yeah, Georgie. Then we can talk about our next case. Wait, Ronnie, wait. I've decided to be a brain surgeon instead. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 